Hey guys, uh, Mike242 here. I'm just going to do a quick little video on my progress of my gun room so far. Uh, so this is it, pretty much. It's just a little single closet. I'm planning to put a key lock on this door. So if, you know, if anyone comes in, they're not just going to go in there and take all my shit, right? So, uh, this is it. It's not really big, it's just a little closet. Uh, up here, I keep all the... Uh, boxes that my guns have came in uh, some of them I just threw out because I'll never use them but if I want to sell them again I have the box and that usually helps out with selling it uh, I got my uh, Canadian beer flags there let's start on the uh, left here I just got my like my dress dressy clothes these are my range stuff uh, I also do airsoft so, uh, there's some of those airsoft stuff here, like those vests and stuff. Um, yep, this is my, uh, pistol that I got. It's a, uh, it's an airsoft gun. Um, up here I just keep some bow and arrows, uh, shooting targets, some communist hats, uh, SKS bandolier. And, uh, over here just a huge ass bowie knife, uh, <laughs> All right, so let's start on the left side. It's just some, uh, some of the old ladies' coats and stuff, and um, drill, uh, bugger bag. Uh, let's see, uh, just some my dress shoes, dress stuff down there. Antique coin. I have a collection down there, and uh, some miscellaneous stuff, survival shit, steer, and uh, handgun, and uh, duct tape, and some other stuff in there. Uh, this is way too big to fit in my um, my gun safe here, so I, I just I just put it there and yeah. Anyway, I got a soft case and a hard case. Uh, this is all my cleaning supplies for my guns. I own SKS, so military surplus ammo. You got to clean that good. But uh, yeah, let's get to the left side here, and um, got some miscellaneous stuff, some air stuffs, air soft stuff. Uh, Airsoft helmet, so I got some 9mm ammo, uh, camera, just some GoPro stuff and electronic stuff here, and uh, some magazines and stuff like that from airsoft guns up there. And uh, this is just my miscellaneous stuff that I have. I like loose rounds and all that stuff that I haven't put away yet. Uh, I think you can see it's too dark on the camera, but there's a flashlight there. I'm gonna sling here. I've got a lot of. Uh, SKS uh, stripper clips and a shotgun shell case. This is my range outfit. Uh, just a little, uh, just a cool little addition. Anyway, this is my ammunition. Uh, so I'm getting a Caltech Sub 2000, so that makes uh, it requires a 9mm Luger. So I'm stocking up on that. I got two cases right now. Um, I feel about probably. I want to say near to a thousand. Uh, they're not uh, both full, but they're getting there. I got some 12 gauge target load, 12 gauge target load. I probably have like 500, I wouldn't say 500, probably around 400, 450 shells of uh, 12 gauge. Uh, I got some 762 by 39 uh, from SKS, same with there. And I got some 223 Remington for my, uh, my dad's rifle. Uh, let's see, let's open up the uh, gun case now. It's not much of a gun case, just a cheap Canadian tire one. But um, I'll pull my guns out one by one so you can see them. So uh, this is not bad for an 18 year old's collection, but uh, yeah. So this, actually I'm not gonna, you can't see it, it's a black rug. I'm gonna bring it out here. So this is a Mossberg Maverick 88 uh, pump shotgun. It's extremely cheap. I got it on GoTender.com for about $260 Canadian. So that's probably like near to $100, uh, $200 American. But uh, yeah, it's got the American flag on it. Probably made in uh, America. Uh, yep, not much else to say. 18 and a half inch barrel. It has the plug in it for the uh, two round capacity, which is annoying, but I'll take that out soon enough. 
and let's go to the other firearms. Next is my very loved tactical shotgun. So this is the Hatson Escort uh, 12 gauge pump. Uh, it's a tactical shotgun, so it has rails, a uh, rail here for, I'm not sure you can see that move there, um, for flashlight or foregrip, or whatever you want to put on that. It has a heat shield, heat shield right there, and a muzzle brake, I believe that's what that's called, to reduce recoil a little bit. And a, um, that's a, yeah, rubber um, pistol grip and uh, rubber butt pad of course and what the cool thing about this gun you can't see that i gotta bring this over here it has a uh two shell uh holder or i don't know what you would call that um for just some extra rounds if you're in the woods you want to put some slugs in there in case of a bear attack but uh this is an amazing shotgun i got it on a deal at canadian tire for only $260, this gun retails for well over $450. I got an amazing deal on that. Show you up close. Look at it here in the light. Great little shotgun. And all these firearms have been safety checked uh, before the video. Let's go in and grab my uh, my fun gun. So this gun is a uh, Russian 1950 Tula SKS. Uh, it was a refurbished um, before I bought it. I bought it from Gotenda for about 240 uh, Canadian. So it's a Russian SKS. It's not really much to say about it. I put this uh, <coughs> uh, bullet holder. Uh, it was too long, so I had to cut it, um, cut it down to size. But it's a pretty nice rifle. Haven't had any complaints uh, besides um, not being very accurate. But that's probably a by part, to be honest. And when you do clean these guns, make sure to uh, use uh, some sort of ammonia based product or very hot water uh, to get all the uh, military surplus corrosive ammo residue out of it. If you do use uh, corrosive ammo. Um, it's really cheap, but it comes at a cost. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's my collection so far. I hope you guys like it, and uh, I don't think it's that bad for an 18-year-old. I will be getting a Caltech Sub 2000 um, in 9 millimeter. About in uh, for my birthday, I'll buy it for myself, and I'll update the video on that for you guys. But uh, anyway, I hope you like my room. Oh my gun room and uh, have a great day guys thanks for watching bye